The tank I like to call 10-1, in which I was previously putting male endlers as soon as I could sex them, and I also kept a couple of auto sinkless. The only two that survived, which I purchased from my local pet store over the past three or four years, they don't eat black beard algae and neither do handlers live bearers. I have seen videos of adding Seekim Flourish XL to a tank and safe doses for fauna. Also videos using hydrogen peroxide for the same purpose to rid a tank of algae but rather than endanger my fauna I removed them to 10.3 another 10 gallon and subsequently gave away most of the endlers live bearers and the two auto sinkless to someone who's going to keep them in a 20 gallon tall tank with male guppies where they should be much happier with more room and excellent care. I removed the cold slag and compost from the tank. The first thing I did was spread it out on a tarp and hope to let it dry out so that all the blackbeard algae and I think it's spores from blackbeard algae would expire but I decided this would take too long as the substrate is kind of like a sponge and retains water I thought to spread it out in the sun but it's been raining here for the past couple of days I finally decided to put the substrate in a Pyrex bowl and microwave it for two or three minutes. It took several, probably three, maybe four bowls of the stuff to get it all through the microwave treatment and wound up using some of that to rescape the tank but also some more compost, also some more coal slag. A friend of mine is attempting to use epoxy to glue these creek rock together so that they will stand alone. We're still in the process of trying to get that to work. The epoxy doesn't want to bond to this rock from Kentucky. I think it's sandstone. So for now I used a rock that stands up by itself. That's the one on the right. And leaned a few other rock against that. You may say I've overdone it and put too much hardscape in this tank. But if it's going to hold Endler's Live Bearers and perhaps Cherry Shrimp, they don't need a whole lot of room. So I can add plants right away. After a few days, the chlorine will evaporate. I can add sponges and perhaps filter floss from an established filter to get the beneficial bacteria into the tank. And then after a few weeks, the nitrogen cycle should be complete. I will of course test the water once and then again a week later to be absolutely certain that the parameters are pristine before adding fauna.